What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a little bit of like housekeeping and uh, kind of catch you guys up with some stuff that's been going on. So we're gonna start off by taking a lap around the Jeep and showing you guys uh, not really all that much is new, but we did get a new license plate and boom, how do you guys like that? If that isn't the most obvious Jeep license plate, then I don't know what is because <laughs> these things, I mean, you can just keep dumping money and more money and more money and more money. And I've heard boats are money pits, but I think uh, so far this Jeep has just been continuously needing upgrades. And uh, I mean, I even even done more than half of the stuff I want to do to it yet. So yeah, we're going to continue working on this thing. But I know you guys have been itching to see some new upgrades here for the Jeep. And uh, today, we're not going to be installing it, but today we're going to be unboxing something that I got from Road Armor uh, for my birthday, as in like I bought it for myself. So <laughs> you know, happy birthday to me. As you guys can see, we have the factory rock sliders here on the Jeep. They're all like, they're nice. They're you know, small and they're tucked up in there real nice and they kind of just blend in. Uh, but we're gonna be changing that here in uh, in just a couple days. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will know we picked up a box uh, from a semi truck behind a Kroger because they literally could not fit the semi in my neighborhood. So uh, yeah, we ended up driving this box home on top of my roof. Uh, one strap and you know got it here just fine. We're gonna be un unboxing this today uh, I might be ceramic coating it as well, uh, but these are the new rock sliders for uh, the Jeep We are gonna be removing my factory rock sliders. I'll probably end up selling them uh, if not giving them to somebody around here that I know um, But uh, I guess I seem like the last time I had these off. I couldn't get anybody to buy them. So uh, we'll see what happens there. But your main difference with the rock slider from Road Armor is it's actually going to come in two pieces. There's actually one that kind of mounts against the body and then another piece that almost like attaches to that. Um, but other than that, uh, it will cover because it's going to give you more like body armor coverage. So um, it will come up to like about here and I believe cover all this up here and then all the way back as well. Uh, so they are gonna be up just a little bit higher, uh, give you a little bit more clearance for the body and the rock slider itself, uh, you know, and it will be sticking out a little bit further than the factory one as well. So uh, it will protect against all the shopping carts at the mall. Uh, so I don't have to worry about scratching my paint or anything like that. So yeah, let's dive into this box. Root Armor always sends like these giant boxes. Like even my bumper came in this. I mean, it had other parts and stuff in it, but I've literally never gotten a part that's been in such a big box. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into this and uh, show you guys what comes inside. packaging I've ever seen of any like heavy duty like bumpers or like steel parts their packaging is like insane oh, okay that's heavy Okay, so here we have, uh, it looks like this is the body panel here. This is the one that's gonna go up against uh, the body. Uh, that's gonna replace like where that flag is. I'll hold it up there uh, for you guys in just a second. And then this is the actual rock slider uh, portion of it. Uh, so this part, these are gonna mount to like where your body mounts are uh, underneath. And then it looks like, I don't know if this is the same side as this, but basically if it is, It'll mount something like that. So you guys can see, has these holes that are like pre-drilled into the top here. Uh, so yeah, that's that gonna be bolted onto the body and then down onto the actual rock slider here. And you guys can see just how solid this rock slider is. It gives you guys like a ton of protection 
this piece, like this portion right here is about six inches like wide. And then you have this top piece is gonna be against your body here. So you have another three, four inches of like clearance out. So you could almost use this kind of like a step and I'm sure Hallie will uh, use this as a step because it might be a little bit easier for her to get into the Jeep. But let me grab this one here and I'll show you guys how this mounts. So this piece is gonna line up like right here. And you can see it covers like all of that painted surface up against the body here, this flat surface. Uh, so we have this flag behind here, we're gonna be removing that vinyl. Now, I have been seeing this lately on Instagram. Uh, some of the other Jeep builds that I've been seeing and other people that have like these two-piece rock sliders But a lot of these people what they're doing is they're taking that piece that's against the body and body color matching it uh, And then leaving the rocker piece the actual slider uh, that black that textured black. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not um, I guess I could always unbolt it and then paint it doesn't really matter, um, but I think I might end up doing that eventually. I think this might just be adding a little bit too much black, uh, especially because I have the black hardtop. Might be adding a little bit too much black to like the rest of the Jeep, that kind of makes sense. I kind of want to tone that black down, do some like accent colors. Uh, so I may end up painting this piece uh, to be mojito green as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Should I leave it or should I paint it? Uh, I think for right now I'm just gonna leave it and then eventually if I change my mind I can I can end up painting it. That way it blends in a little bit better with the Jeep. So looking at the body mounts of this slider here, this one looks like it's gonna be the driver's side because the body mounts are closer in the rear than they are in the front. So let's grab this and kind of mock it up or at least as best as I can and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So yeah, you guys can get an idea of uh, kind of what it's going to look like. It's definitely shorter than the factory rock rails, uh, but they do stick out quite a ways uh, further. It definitely protects uh, the body and anything else. Uh, it's actually probably sticking out a little bit further than uh, your door hinges here. Uh, so it, it'll protect your body and actually the way that this is sloped and it actually curves up underneath uh, you're actually protect, protecting that pinch weld and everything uh, else up underneath there. Uh, plus, Hallie will be able to use it uh, for a step to get into the Jeep, just a little bit easier for her. But yeah, anything that's going to be coming at your Jeep, uh, this will protect your body. But anything uh, coming even remotely close to your body is going to hit these first. Uh, you know, rocks, uh, other cars, shopping carts, you know, all sorts of stuff. But to say I'm excited to get these things on is an understatement. Unfortunately, we're not going to be installing them today. The uh, reason we won't be installing them today is because if you see the hardware here, we have a whole bunch of nut certs, uh, and uh, I actually do not have the right drill bit to uh, drill into the body to insert these, and I don't actually have uh, the correct, I guess, wrenches or sizes or uh, even like a nut cert tool uh, to put these in. So we're going to be waiting just a little bit here. Hopefully I can get my hands on the tools that I need to install this. Uh, but as of right now, I don't have the correct drill bit size. And if you'd go too big, those nut certs will just spin in there instead of crush. So you need that sleeve to crush. Uh, and it pretty much creates somewhere for you to uh, bolt something into. Uh, so we are gonna be drilling into the body, which I'm not a crazy huge fan about, especially on this paint color, because uh, this color is now become so rare they've stopped making mojito green but yeah we will be installing a bunch of nut certs into the body of this jeep which again i'm not a huge fan of but i think it'll be well worth uh, the protection that these new rock sliders are going to come with so yeah guys that's pretty much everything that comes in the box i mean there's another set in here as well obviously you have both sides uh, but you basically have the slider itself this body like body armor piece that goes up against the body and then all of the hardware that it takes uh, to install this so pretty easy packaging this thing is super super heavy road armor as always killing it with the packaging you guys can see how well this thing has been packaged and uh, how much foam they use to wrap it bubble wrap all sorts of stuff and then it comes in this huge box here but uh, yeah we should be getting this on the Jeep in just a few days uh, again I'm just waiting on uh, the tool so I can work on those nut certs. But I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for throwing on rock sliders because I 
already do pretty much have rock sliders, uh, but these ones are gonna be a lot more sturdy. I do, I am, I promise you, I am going to take this thing off road. There's just a lot that I have to do uh, before I'm almost ready uh, to take it off road. Uh, I have to check over my lift kit. Uh, there's, there's some noises and stuff that, I mean, it's just me rushing to put the lift on. Um, so I wanna make sure that everything is uh, pretty much measured right, uh, tightened down correctly. Uh, get rid of some of those noises if I can. Uh, get those rock sliders on. We want to do a winch um, and pretty much at that point we'll be ready to go. So we will be doing some wheeling this summer. But yes, my Jeep right now is pretty much a mall crawler, which I'm not ashamed about because uh, I do drive my Jeep. It's my only car. So <laughs> that is uh, the reason that yeah, I can't beat on it too bad. It's I don't have a daily, this is my daily. So but besides the rock sliders, we do have a couple more things in store. I do have some more steering components that we're gonna be installing here soon. My new clutch, finally got the new disc for that. So that's gonna be going in as well. Uh, we had this thing torn apart, like I said again in the last video, uh, but just the wrong disc. So we had to tear it all apart again. Uh, so we're gonna be tearing my transmission apart for the third time. Make sure we get that South Bank clutch in there. Uh, steering components. Uh, then we have the Jack's Wax. Uh, car, car care products as well. So I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite car cleaning products uh, that I use personally, and it's a local company, so I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, you can actually find all of Jack's Wax stuff on Amazon, uh, so I'll leave some links to that as well. Uh, RoadArmor.com, Mojito20, uh, is your discount code, 20% off anything you purchase. I just had somebody reach out to me and say that they saved like over $1,000 because they must have bought a lot of stuff. Um, but they used my code, uh, so thank you for using my code, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for sticking around. I know it's been a long time since I've done an actual install video or an unboxing, uh, but I promise that's going to be changing here soon. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>